What's going on guys? I'm Relatable Gaming and welcome back to All The Mods 9. So I haven't done too too much off camera. Um, really all I did was change our storage over to this diamond barrel here that I've got fully upgraded. So we can stack like a stupid amount of items in these stacks here. Um, but yeah, I mean really I've just kind of been letting this run. Um, and it's doing good with the excess actually. Let's see how we're doing over here. Yeah, so it's almost run through all of the excess as far as right over there. Um, I do think there is still some excess maybe in the combs themselves. Maybe not. I set up a copper bee and a coal bee, by the way. No, there's no excess at all. Okay, there's a little bit of excess, but that's not too bad, though. I'm pretty happy with that. Any excess over here? No. Some of our bees have gotten into the wrong spots, though. I'm not really sure how that keeps happening. I'm not going to sweat it because they're producing a stupid amount of items. So I'm pretty satisfied. Copper Bee has not done much, but that's because he hasn't made a baby yet. So I'm not sweating that. Um, our tree farm is doing fantastic. Oh, I made this. So this is a, a modular router with an activator module set to down and a security upgrade. Now, I think what I need to do is go to my team settings or something and allow fake players a player ID allow fake players True. allow fake players which have the ID I don't know what I need to do there did I hit save you don't have to hit save allied fake player names not really sure how that works. Allow fake players. Treat all fake players as allies of the team. Okay. So I think that should. Hmm. The idea of a real player. If that real player would be permitted, either an ally or team member. So yeah, this is what I want, but it doesn't seem like it's working anymore, or not anymore, but at all. Um, but maybe I need to set this not to look below. Um, let me see if look level fixes that. Maybe that's fix. I'm not really too sure. I've never used modular routers, I don't think. Not at least for this. Um... So I may have to look at some videos or get somebody to help me with that. But the tree farm overall has been working fine. I really don't even need that. But basically all this would do is make the trees grow like super quick. Just like so. But I'm not sweating it. Today we're going to get into some processing of all of the stuff we've got down there. So we've got a little area set up here. Um, we're going to need a chest. Actually a couple of chests probably. Hmm. Yeah. I'm gonna need a couple of chests, so I'm gonna grab those. Um, because... I'll show you how this is gonna work. Oh, not home. I'm gonna go back. Um, so basically the way it's gonna work is there will be a chest... Um, probably right here. And right here. Five might be good, but I'm gonna just, it's just gonna be uneven. We're gonna do six. Right. And then I'm gonna need some chefs and some mechanical belts. And I'm gonna set these up here just like this. I'm gonna run this belt just like so. And then I'm gonna have. Let's see, these encased chain drives. Uh, one is just going to go, let's see, I'm going to have to bring this up a bit. Actually, you know what? I'm going to move this whole thing because basically I want, you'll see. I'm going to set it up. I'm going to kind of try to explain it as I set it up, but I'm not the create guy, so... And don't expect too much out of this. Alright, so shaft there. 
shaft there, right? Chest one, two, three, four, five, six. Shaft there. Okay. Belt there. Locks right here. Basically, the way this is going to work is these mechanical fans, or sorry, encased fans here, are going to blow lava. Oh, they need to go like this. Not lava, but, um, fireplaces, campfires, just like so. And then I'm going to throw probably just some trap doors like that. Yeah, I'm gonna go down the line and do trap doors on top there. And then I'm also gonna go down the line and do trap doors in front here. Just like this. And basically what that does is protect me from getting hit by the uh, campfires. And I think I'm safe to vein mine. No, I'm not safe to vein mine these. Oh, also I'm uh, upgraded my sword all the way to Supremium. So I'm pretty excited about that. Um, also this chest needs to come up a block. Just like so. Brass funnel will go right there. Click and hold for a mount. So, uh, greater or equal to 63. Sure, that's fine. Yeah, I'll just go with that. And then this chest is also going to have to come up a block. And it'll go basically the same thing. Um, but this one will end up getting filtered for a couple of various things. Um, and we will worry about that um, in the future. But also, this needs to get moved back because I don't want the brass funnel in the way of the fire. I don't know if it affects it, but I don't want it in the way. Nope. There we go. Just like so. And then this chain is gonna, or this belt is gonna have to go like this. Just like so. That way, now this can pick up, this can drop, right? Okay. We're doing good. We're making progress. I think really that's about it. I just need to connect up the fans and of course connect up the belts. Um, so yeah, basically I should be able to throw just an encased chain drive on the back here, which will allow those to spin the same direction. Then connect that in somehow. I think I can do like that. I don't know for sure but we're gonna try it um and i'll connect it up through right here probably um i've got some gearboxes here by the way i'm showing y'all all of this because i'm not sure if y'all prefer the videos where i kind of just build and then show y'all what i built or if you prefer the ones where i actually like show y'all how i'm building and whatnot so Figured I would do a little bit of each and just kind of see how it goes. I'm going to move this over to here. We're going to see. Okay, I didn't think that that would work. I wasn't completely sure. Because I know you can do some funky stuff with these drives. But that's okay. If I need to use another gearbox, I can. I do need to make sure that they face the correct way though. So I'm going to need another gear. Oh, it doesn't like whenever I use those as crafting, huh? Here's an oak plank right there. I'll use that for crafting. Here we go. Give me another cog wheel. Go that one right there. And yeah shaft up gearbox right there oh vertical gearbox 
Oh no. All right, can we hit it, guys? Oh, I'm so good. That was pretty sweet. I'm not even going to lie. All right, we're going to head back up there and see if we can get this thing to work. Um, like I said, I'm not a professional creator. So this is just me kind of going as I think I'm doing the right thing. And that appears to be... That's pulling. Okay. Can I swap that around to where they're pushing? Yo. Hmm. Alright. Then we're gonna have to do some funkiness here. Gonna have to get another gearbox. Okay. This one will be a regular gearbox. And then I'm actually gonna use a large cog here. Because, um, I think that it'll be better. And actually, using the large cog wheel may kind of solve my problem. I think large cog wheel is going to solve my problem here, actually. I don't even think I'm going to have to re-gear it. Oh, wrong gearbox. I think this should make it work correctly. Oh, they're still pulling. Yeah, they're still pulling. Okay, so somehow I gotta get it to go the other way. I believe that that somehow is gonna be... Take another gear somewhere. Go like that. Shaft. Gear. Boom. That should be pushing. Yes, okay. That's pushing. Perfect. Okay, and actually, here's what we're going to do. I got to do it again. Yep, I'm kind of that guy. Alright, so what we're going to do is I'm going to put a gearbox a below, a, a down a block, and then I'm going to use um, belts to be able to control both of these things at one time. See, I'm going to run this out right there like so vertical gearbox right here like so shaft right there mechanical belt right there all right you know what I'll take that hmm or could I rotate that? Okay, I'm gonna go with like that. I think that's better. So that's pushing. That's moving that stuff that way. I think that's good. Let's try it out. Let's see what happens if I throw a stack of raw iron in there. Should be able to throw raw iron in here. It gets thrown out. Oh, it doesn't go on for long enough. These are going too fast. Hmm. Okay. I wonder how much too fast they're going, though. Let me... I'm going to have to make... Probably another rotation speed controller or something. To be able to slow that down. So, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to get that because it takes a minute to make... And then we're going to see if we can get these to slow down enough to where I can throw it in here and it'll cook by the time it gets to right there. If not, what I can do, I'll go ahead and actually show y'all this in case this is what you would rather do. You can go like that. I can go... Let's see, I think you can make a filter at create filter. Yeah, what kind of filters can I make? I can make a list filter. An attribute filter. I'm gonna go with an attribute filter, I think, because I think I can make the attribute smeltable or something like that. I just need a brass nugget. Pretty easy to make. 
All right, so attribute filter, I can add a reference item just like that. And then I can be, can be smelted. Yep, just like that. And this is actually going to be pretty cool. So I may not even have to worry about this. Watch this. I can throw this in here. Okay, I shouldn't have jumped up like that. I can throw this in here. Just like that. And now, I believe if I throw some iron ore in there, it'll run across. And then once it gets smelted, which it will eventually, it's just taking its time, I guess. <laughs> it might take a little while. I'm not really sure about all of this stuff. I've kind of been just watching Chosen Architect and seeing what he does. <laughs> I'm not even about to lie. And this is what he did. Um, but mine's not working right. <laughs> Alright, we're going to do a little bit of testing. Alright, so that was my bad, y'all. Um, you can't use campfires, I guess, for that. I think you have to use lava. So, that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to hope that it doesn't burn my place down. And if it tries to, well... Ooh. Oh. Nice. <laughs> uh, wonderful. <laughs> oh, Lord. You know. It's one of those days, apparently. Alright. We're gonna get back over there and get this fixed. Because I see what I did wrong there. The lava's rolling right over the belts. So I'm gonna have to pick that back up and fix it. Yeah, see, it's not supposed to do like that. So I'm gonna have to pick the lava up. Um, I think these trap doors are supposed to be down. So I'll show you what I mean by that. So I think it's supposed to be... Actually, I could probably just go like this. supposed to be like this. There we go. That should work. And then I can start to throw the lava down. Yep. Now that works. And I don't think I technically have to use source blocks, but I'm going to. I can go like that. Now that's cooking. Now I can throw raw iron through there it still didn't cook fast it's supposed to cook like super fast but it's not doing that I'm not sure why Alright, I went back and I watched Chosen's video and I realized that I missed something because I decided to get ahead of myself. Uh, he decided to just go with using a plain water wheel to slow it down. Just like that. So I've just got the water wheel hooked into a gearbox right here. And I think that will work just fine. So that now should not be super fast. It should be the correct speed where I can go in there and throw in some iron. Oh, by the way, I need to show y'all this because this is something that I missed a minute ago. This filter. Um, whenever you add your reference item, let me... Can I clear this? Oh, clear. So you add your reference item, you find can be smelted, you hit add attribute, and you have to click here because right here it'll say deny list. Items pass if they do not have the attribute. So you want that one can can be smelted and you want items that do not have that attribute and then you hit check now I can add that onto there I can throw raw iron into there and as that passes through you'll see probably somewhere around here it'll get smelted I think I think I'm not 100% sure on that so if I'm wrong don't punch me okay I was wrong so please don't punch me. 
I may need to add another fan. I'm not quite sure. But it will work. Um, it just needs some work. But yeah, there you go. So you just saw it. It's melted it up. So I'm thinking maybe it just needs another fan. So if we have to add that, we can add that. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's the basic setup is basically it just runs the ore in front of the lava and it cooks it. All right, with some testing, here's what I figured out seems to be the best method. I turned... Oh, we're going to freeze here. I turned this thing down. So the, the funnel now is only going, you can see, 32 items per, uh, whatever, per drop. So you'll see that if I throw a stack in there, it'll drop it out in two separate sections. And that, you'll see, finishes about right there. It's going to be damn near perfect as far as when it finishes up. Watch this. Boom, iron ingot. Boom, iron ingots. And so that just did a stack that quickly. I'm pretty satisfied with that. Um, that's. I'm not going to set it up fully automated right now, I don't think. Like with pulling in up there. I'm fine with just coming down here saying, hey, you know what? I need some copper. I need some gold. Let me come up here. Throw it all in there. And I mean, it's, it's infinite. I don't have to do anything. I don't have to worry about fueling it. It's automatically fueled by the farm here. It's awesome. The gold should finish right about there. Yep. So, I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm very satisfied with the outcome here. Um, it's not maybe as fast as it could be if it were doing a stack at a time. Um, so I may tinker with it, but I'm okay with where it's at right now. All right, y'all. So I'm in the end right now because I need some ender pearls because I figured out that the simulator upgrade is way cheaper than I thought it was going to be. Um, yeah, that's like nothing. So we're going to get that and our bees are going to be way better off than they are right now. So we'll be able to get a simulator upgrade and some speed upgrades in all of them. Man, we'll be balling, balling. So yeah, I'm going to sit here and try and get some ender pearls and then we're going to get ourselves a simulator upgrade or a few simulator upgrades so that we can get all of our bees just absolutely rolling. So that will be fantastic. All right, so I decided that I'm going to take a little break from the bee stuff for now. Um, it's been running for a while and we've got a lot of stuff. Um, it's working great. This setup is doing fantastic. The only problem that I have had and y'all may see this if you're working on a server on this pack, is that crops don't seem to grow when I'm offline. Like, even even if I've got it chunk loaded, which I've got most of my base chunk loaded, as you can see here, um, stuff doesn't seem to grow offline. Whether it's in a hopper botany pod or whatever, like, trees don't grow. So the setup that I had where I had this powered by trees, um, I've still got it, so it's still kind of powered by trees, um, but I'm pretty much letting it self-power right now with the coal that I'm getting from the bees because I just, it kept turning itself off and I wanted it to keep running. It was getting like overfilled with, uh, stuff and then I'd have to let it go through and, you know, run through all of the excess. So, um, I'm trying now to set up some mystical agriculture, um, because the tertium bee is cool, but I think we can get a faster farm going. So I've got a um, harvester pylon right here. I've got water in it, and I'm going to throw a supremium hoe in there. And then I'm actually going to take some... Oh, that's not the farmland that I wanted. Um, I've got some... Oh, I thought I had some... Um... It's a premium farmland, but that's okay. We'll just make some. All right. So what I'm thinking, I'm not really sure how fast I made some of these growth accelerators. I'm not sure like how much of an effect they have. So like, let's say I throw three of them right here. That is, what does that do? Right. Does that make much difference? So it's, it's making a little bit of a difference. You can definitely see that it's getting particles. Um, let's say I do four of them. How does that do? Is, is that making... 
Oh yeah, so that's already starting to grow now. Okay, so let's say I do... What if I do eight of them? What if I go six plants with eight accelerators? I'm going to try that and see what that looks like. Yeah, so there's definitely a noticeable difference here. Um, I mean, this is already starting to produce Inferium. Yeah, so that's awesome. That guy's... Guys, that is huge. That is so much better already. And then what I can do is I actually forgot to do this. I can plant that down. And not only, I think, will that help the acceleration, but it will make more. Um, So that, that'll be great. That's going to start producing us a lot of Inferium now. Um, And we'll be able to continue to make more of these accelerators, right? And then that will just continue to make our farms faster. And these are just Prudentium ones. These are tier two. Um, I mean, I can go all the way up to, like, we're, we're farming Tertium over here. Um, so, I mean, I could go all the way up to, say, to Premium. I think, I don't know. I don't know if you can go up to Insanium. Um, I don't think you can. I don't think there's Insanium growth accelerators. Yeah, because these are the growth accelerators. Um, let's see, it would be this, I think. Yeah, so there's not a growth accelerator for Insanium, but you can go up to Supremium, which is still pretty dang cool. And I mean, look at there, it's already produced 24. Um, I don't know exactly how much these are producing per, let's see. Let's see if we can get one of them to grow and then get harvested. And we'll see how much it's producing. So there we go, that's two of them. And that just got me six more. So they're producing about three each is what it seems like. So that's pretty cool. I'm pretty satisfied with that. Like I said, we're also producing tertium over here. Um, so that's pretty sweet. And this whole setup is doing well. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, so actually, guys, I think that's probably going to do it for this episode. Um, we've been pretty busy. I mean, we got this set up. And, um, like I said, I, I kind of made this to where it's self-sustaining i think um and now we've got our little inferium farm going over here which should get us pretty loaded um i think off camera i'm gonna work on getting myself i may actually be able to do it right now i haven't even looked at the recipe um we need a uraninite bee actually it's super cheap it's a cree bee and an iron bee and i have both of those i may have even already made one um, no, I have not made one quite yet, but I have both of those. So let's actually creepy. We'll go ahead and actually just make one of those. Um, creepy high adult and then iron B. So I don't actually have one in a cage right now. I don't think I may have one. Yeah, there we go. So I've got one right there. That's an adult. So I'll be able to just breed those up and throw a cage in there i'll need to get some more bee cages and some flowers for breeding with um but that's okay there's some cages in there and then i'll get some roses and i should be able to bone meal these right and come out here and show y'all this now you can actually sit here and do this which is pretty freaking cool and that'll just get me a bunch of roses so then i can come over here and get those guys bred up and that's pretty awesome. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get these set up. Um, I did make some speed upgrades. I haven't used all of them yet because I wasn't sure exactly where I wanted to use them. But um, I've got them in my tertium bees right now. So those are producing like crazy. I've got four speed upgrades over here in those. Uh, yeah, right here. So my tertium bees and oh, there's one redstone bee. I, I could probably get get rid of that redstone bee because i would rather have more tertium bees but anyways um i've got that one fully sped up so that's pretty sweet uh so that'll just kind of keep doing its thing we're gonna get a ton of tertium out of that um, and obviously we're gonna get a lot of essence out of this like i said this probably won't run while i'm off camera or while i'm offline i mean um but i'm okay with that i am gonna go ahead and chunk load it just because i want it to run while i'm uh, online at least not around i assume that that works i haven't really tested that um, but yeah guys like i said i think that's probably gonna do it for this one i hope y'all enjoyed i'll see y'all in the next one take care guys